All right, welcome back. This is part 16 of my crash landing series, and by looking at my inventory, uh, I'm gonna get ready for my tree farming machine, better known as the laggy deforestation setup. Literally the title of this video. So, yeah, I'm gonna be using an autonomous activator here instead of a fertilizer because I don't have a fertilizer set up and I need animals for that even though I can make animals right now or I should say spawn animals I don't want to do that just because I have plenty of bones and I really don't need this machine or setup running all the time otherwise it causes a lot of lag and you'll see the lag in the next couple of minutes or so And I'm going to be having four of these um, grinder setups. And I will have to move stuff around eventually. Though this is a starting point. Now I'm going to explain this now. Uh, the intention here is to get leaves and uh, logs from both jungle and oak trees. So that I can make charcoal, a water system, uh, which will, which will uh, replace the previous water system where I'd use crucibles and py uh, blazing pyrophium. So in this new setup I'm gonna have, I'm going to use f fluid transposers, and that will be permanent. So right now I'm just making some tesseracts or. In the process of making two tesseracts and I'm going to use this for transferring power rather than running a long length cable from the reactor to the farming area just because it's kind of a waste and I want to not have to waste a bunch of cables even though I'm kind of getting rich now. Now I wouldn't say organization is exactly key here, I just want something that it can produce a lot of wood and a lot of leaves for water. I do need water, I'm tired of having to have slow water, although the slow water was fine in itself, it wasn't a huge bottleneck but having to put leaves um, all the time did get annoying when I could have thousands of leaves being sent into a fluid transposer system so and as you can see here I'm putting sludge boilers because that's a byproduct when you use harvesters you need to take the sludge out of the harvest I mean yeah harvesters and uh, the good thing about sludge boilers is that you do get a variety of stuff like uh, netherrack I think mycelium clay dirt think sand I wish I would have known this earlier but oh well
Now the reason why I'm putting it a little far away from the uh, harvest setup just because uh, if you stand close enough to these machines while they're running and detoxifying the sludge or I mean turning into something usable uh, it poisons you. If, you. if you get close enough it does poison you so you have to be careful. And a mistake I made here is I uh, don't make some of these pipes long enough because jungle trees have plenty of room especially right here. Now I could use a bigger area for the harvesters but I didn't just because I don't want to have a ginormous area for planting and harvesting stuff. I just prefer to have it this way. Now I probably could have made another area or another walled area with my farming but I didn't want to do that. I just wanted everything kind of close by. Plus my mob grinders up here so if I ran out of bones I could put more bones. And there's no point in making this automatic because eventually we just overfill every barrel that I'm gonna have. No matter how high the upgrades are, how extreme the upgrades are. Storage upgrades I should say. Now here I'm just trying to route pipes to the autonomous activators and yeah you can use bone meal in these autonomous activators and it'll act like a fertilizer so the only issue is that it only does one block but that's fine with me. Might have been a design flaw looking at this now, but it's okay. And as you can see here, if I put saplings into the, those barrels, it plants the saplings and now it's starting to do its thing. So I don't have um, an, a sorting area for these harvesters, so it just poops out the items. And I can set the mode where it, it can shear leaves or not. So I want to have both variants and now I'm going to make like a a distinct area or distinct pattern around the sludge boilers to tell me not to get so close but it really doesn't matter because I even getting near the crystal chest I still can get poisoned there we go it's more like a design thing more like a decoration than a useful feature but it's okay and in the middle I have a bone meal going to each autonomous activator First mistake I made was putting these pipes too close to the jungle trees. Now I'm going to put some barrels here and these uh, these barrels are for the saplings that I get along with the leaves and the oak logs.
Now I do make some mistakes here and there, like I always do in this pack. I accidentally put uh, bone meal and saplings together, and sometimes, yeah, that causes a lot of problems. Though, as you can see, it is working, so not a problem. I'm getting resources out of this. Good. I'm not having to shear stuff manually anymore. And I do get stuck right there. Might have to fix that so I can get to the uh, bow and meal area or the bow and meal barrels. And you can see the sludge boiler is actually doing stuff. It's nice. But I do need to get these uh, jungle harvesters going. Now, upon putting bone meal into the autonomous activator for the jungle tree, I notice that it's just wasting it. It's not actually growing anything. And if you can figure it out, well, you're a genius because it's literally the pipes that are too close. It needs more space to the jungle saplings in order to grow the giant tree that I'm aiming for. There we go, I do fix it. I just need to put pipes back and it will work again. It's kind of laggy. It actually does get pretty laggy once every single harvester is doing its thing, but it's okay. I just need to route these far enough away. And another issue that actually comes up, I don't show until later, is uh, sometimes a harvester from one tree likes to harvest stuff from the other jungle trees or the let's say the, it was an oak tree harvester it likes to harvest from the jungle tree and that would cause a clog in the pipes so eventually I would need to use trash cans and that was kind of satisfying for a moment but I need to use these trash cans from extra utilities again to sort stuff that I don't want and what I do want such as vines maybe the oak saplings, the oak um, logs, and oak leaves. And I would do the same respectively for the other trees, which are the oak trees. It's not the greatest setup in the world, but it works. At least in the end, it does work. You're, you're just seeing my fails and wins here and there now if you look closely it's destroying everything because I haven't had to set the filter for the ore type or whatever it is there's some shenanigan stuff you gotta do with the filters but while I eventually fix that I'm gonna upgrade these barrels for more storage You can see the sludge is working just fine. Now I'm not going to do any for the apples because, uh, I don't know, the apples don't get a lot of apples in comparison to everything else.
now I'm starting to fix it a little bit. The issue I mentioned earlier where it would delete stuff that I don't want to delete. But now you can see the vines are disappearing, which is good. Definitely don't want vines for anything. And this part's probably where it does get a little laggy. It's doing a very good job here sorting stuff out. Now I didn't have to figure this out on my own. I actually googled it, looked up on the wiki about servos just because I had no idea what I was doing. But yeah, I'm getting tons of resources out of this, and that's exactly what I want. Basically an end game sort of thing, but yeah, I'm really in the end game, to be honest. Ever since I made my ing ingot, three times ingot factory. It's like a factory, it takes up most of my bunker and the applied energistic storage system. It's basically end game. For the most part, but there's still, still a lot of things. There's still a lot of things that I want to do. Now I'm just checking on my other barrels, seeing where they're at in terms of resource count. Diamonds and emeralds are looking pretty good, along with the redstone. But the redstone is still pretty low for what I want to do in the future. And here's the beginning of my end game water system where I get fresh water and I can hydrate myself whenever I need to. I'm going to be using tesseracts to transport leaves from my farm, my leggy farm. I think I'll be using leaves, oak leaves for the most part. And I'll be using the Jungle leaves for some other stuff, maybe uh, a soul stand setup where I make witch water. And that'll come later. Now you can see it's working. It's got to change the speed, change the toggle mode, and now it's starting to produce water. This is probably the best way you want to make water. I'm not using crucibles. Crucibles are pretty slow compared to this.
Now I'm noticing immediately I have a byproduct issue of getting saplings. Now I probably could have just added some pipes or something to route it elsewhere, but uh, you notice the proximity of those other pipes. So I just added extra utility garbage cans. Uh, keep mentioning that mod just because it's awesome. I don't know what I'd do without it. Didn't want leaves going to the trash can, so I had to fix that. It was funny when it was coming out of an invisible area. But now it should be deleting saplings. And eventually I do move the uh, fluid transposers closer to each other. Just like that. One more trash can and a few more pipes. Just make sure I don't pipe into the garbage can. I don't know why I put one there. There we go. Now I have three. I probably could have done more, but I thought three. Eh, why not? Basically 300 millibuckets at a time. And eventually it would just like fill up every single drum and I would no longer have to worry about any water at all. It'd take a very long time to run out of water. Now you notice I'm using tesseracts. Why well, I'm going to do the same for the charcoal because the, the high oven needs charcoal and I'm probably almost about to be out of charcoal. So I'll be using jungle logs but... You will see me first using oak before I make that switch. So you're going to come over here just because I did turn off the thing, the high oven. Probably could have left it on, but eh, it's fine. I wasn't really in the time crunch or anything. I'm going to be using redstone furnaces. Automatically turn the logs into charcoal. I'm gonna have that go into the fuel. Now I gotta add an energy source and I gotta hook up the other tesseract for testing before I make the jump to jungle wood. And you notice that I uh, do make another mistake here, uh, pipes, piping wise. Just, just a reminder not to make stuff like this. Uh, where everything is so close to each other, you gotta want to be more organized than this. However, I just I find solutions to this. Not the best solutions, but solutions nonetheless.
now it starts to work a little bit but I do take these out and I will replace this with jungle wood here my over here Just be sending that now. Now I should be taking those back. Starting to heat up again. See there we go. Now it's starting to fill the high oven with charcoal. And I'm, I'm also going to add a crystal chest. Because why not? I like to see all the resources that I've accumulated. Even though it's absolutely not necessary. There you go. Gotta move it real quick. Not a fan of this spot right here. Anyhow, this is the end of part 16, and I will continue with part 17 in the next video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.